Hello, today we will see a game between Edgar Cole and Jules Joseph played somewhere in the 1929. So this game starts with d4, knight f6, knight f3, e6, e3, d5, bishop to d3, c5, c3, knight to c6, bishop, knight bd2. This is the usual main position that is reached after the Kole opening. So now let's continue. Bishop to e7, short castle, c4, bishop to c2, b5, e4, d takes e4. So here we reach an uh, interesting Kole theme where e4 is pushed and there are a variety of responses. Uh, here Jules decides to take uh, d cross e4. Knight takes e4. Short castle, queen to e2, bishop to b7. So this is a good position to study. What would you play if you were playing Kole with white pieces now? Kole plays knight f g5. So there is another video where I show you how I beated a higher rated opponent. I use the same idea of knight fg5 there as well. If you haven't seen that video, please go ahead and see it. Head 6. Knight cross f6 check. Bishop takes f6. Queen to e4. So we are now threatening a mate in 1. g6. Knight takes e6. f takes e6. Queen takes g6 check. Bishop to g7. Queen f7 check. King f7. Bishop to g6 check. King f6. Bishop to h5, knight to e7, bishop takes h6, rook to g8, bishop takes h6, sorry, h4, and then bishop takes h6, queen to f7, checkmate. A lovely game from Edgar Kohli. So let's quickly review this game. I'll read out the game once more and then I'll do the analysis. d4, knight f6, knight f3, e6, e3, d5, bishop to d3, c5, c3, knight to c3, knight bd2, bishop to e7, Short castle, c4, bishop to c2, b5, e4, d takes e4, knight takes e4, short castle, queen to e2, bishop to b7, knight fg5, h6, knight cross f6, check, d cross f6, queen to e4, g6, knight takes e6, F takes e6, queen cross g6 check, bishop g7, queen h7 check, king f7, bishop to g6 check, king to f6, bishop to h5, knight to e7, bishop takes h6, rook to g8, bishop uh, h4, bishop to h6, queen f7, checkmate all right so that was the game 
So let's do a quick analysis of what happened. So let me go back uh, to D4. So um, this uh, usually black responds uh, in, uh, there are many ways for blacks to respond. For example, D5 is a common move. D5 is a common move or uh, the knight move is also uh, common. Okay, so black plays knight f6. Uh, we go ahead with knight f3. So our idea is to go for the Cole system. So Cole system uh, is achieved after the pawn goes here um, and then uh, the c pawn goes to c3. Um, so we make a triangle and uh, then the bishop, uh, the white bishop, the bishop goes to d3. Bishop goes to d3 and queen comes to e2. Uh, and then we castle and of course knight b d2. So this is uh, largely the Cole system. So we'll try to reach there. Okay, so black plays e6. Uh, we go ahead with uh, our Cole ideas. e3, uh, d5, closing the center. Um, so we go ahead with bishop d3, c5. Uh, this is an aggressive uh, way to deal with the Cole. Uh, uh, c5, but we go ahead and uh, strengthen the bond in c3. Uh, knight to c6 uh, so if you look at the position now black is enjoying a good amount of space uh, center control um, the two knights are out the bishops uh, are ready to come out at least uh, one bishop can come out easily after this pawn moves either through capture or forward and this is the only pawn which is stuck which will have to only bishop which is stuck which will have to come to uh, d7 and then uh, move out from there or uh, the black would plan uh, to do uh, e push so let's see um, so black's position is fine here white is also fine here uh, computer evaluation says about plus 0.32 and this is usually the uh, Cole starting position there are many games from here uh, to read and an uh, analyze okay so knight bd2 um, so the black bishop develops uh, to e7. Uh, black is getting ready to castle. Um, Cole castles. Uh, now, uh, this uh, move is a little too early perhaps. Um, uh, there are better moves here. Um, so anyway, our bishop uh, plans to go to c2 and keep the queen ahead uh, of it in the same diagonal. So that's, that's our, that's our long-term plan anyways. So this move helps white. So bishop back to c2, d5, e4. All right. Um, so this is the typical Cole pawn break um, with e4. So the idea is that uh, once black takes, uh, we occupy the center initially with the knight, and then uh, we have our queen uh, there. Thereby, uh, if black castles, uh, we could take. Uh, h7 and deliver a checkmate let's see what happens in the game d cross e4 knight cross e4 and at this moment uh, black uh, castles um, if you look at this position white is already much better uh, with a 1.1 or 1.2 kind of evaluation from uh, the engines uh, and that is because uh, we have uh, a knight to attack and we are also eyeing at uh, the h7 pawn. So let's see how to uh, stage an attack from here. So queen goes to e2, uh, the typical Cole maneuver, uh, bishop uh, to b7 to support the knight. Um, and this is the position that you should see. This position occurs too many times. And here there are so many bad moves. Uh, but the good move seems to be knight of uh, g5. So this is something uh, to remember. Uh, so Cole plays knight f g5. Um, uh, Injin initially thinks it's not such a good move. But then after a while, 
uh, Indian discovers that it is a great move indeed and, and gives the full 1.2 evaluation here. Typically, uh, uh, a less skilled player would not like a knight in his territory, so he would like to uh, chase the knight away with h6, but uh, we have other plans. So why did we move our knight here at the first place? The plan was to take the knight on f6 with a check. So this removes a defender of the h7 square. So we are still lying at the h7 square and one of the defenders is the knight and we are interested in removing it. So once the defender is gone, then our plan is to get the queen into the uh, the bishop's diagonal. So when I when I come into the bishop's diagonal of b1 to h7, then I have a stronger attack on the king. So that's my idea. So either I want my queen to come to let me get the arrows. Uh, either I want the queen to come to e4, uh, which can happen if knight takes knight. Uh, if the if black chooses to take uh, my knight on e4, I can get my queen right away there. That is one way to get it there. Another way to get it there is uh, another way to get somewhere on this uh, diagonal is what happens in the game. Uh, so let's have a look. So knight takes f6, bishop takes f6. Uh, pawn takes f6 would uh, ruin the pawn structure of black so it has to be bishop takes f6 and now we get our queen to our dream square of e4 and now the bishop queen battery is high eyeing h7 um, which is very dangerous okay so now to avoid getting mated in one uh, black has to move something uh, and it weakens the king by moving g6 now that uh, black has moved g6 uh, note that our bishop queen battery is eyeing g6 and also our dark squared bishop is eyeing uh, h6 so we have beautiful attack so this is another very common theme so so let me try to draw the arrows. So in so many of my chess videos, I have to draw these two arrows because this is a very common theme with uh, the Kohle's uh, system. And that's why Kohle bishop is so famous. It's it's very dreaded bishop. All right, so this, uh, given that I have such a strong attack on the black king side, so I can simply go ahead and sack my knight for two pawns. Let's and that's exactly what Kohle does. Knight takes e6, uh, f takes e6, and we take the pawn right in front of the, we take the pawn right in front of the king, and now computer is convinced that this is winning for white uh, with a score of plus six, more than plus six. From here, the game uh, is almost over, but uh, let's see how Kohle finished it. Okay, so uh, Jules tries to defend with the bishop. We continue with a check. King has to come out and bishop joins the party. And um, king could have moved uh, to e7, but then that drops the bishop. So let's go back. So if king had moved here, uh, to e7 uh, this drops the bishop already the position is worse and uh, uh, position is bad and now with a plus uh, nine kind of evaluation um, uh, black is simply lost now wherever the king moves i'll pick up another bishop uh, which is on b7 so that's not good news for black if black tries to bring rook uh, rook can be easily captured because it doesn't have any defense on f7 except the king so so this is not such a great option um, so we go ahead with the king to f6 okay king f6 uh, and now we prepare to bring one more uh, piece into the party uh, so uh, so we prepare first for a check on g6 
which the black can easily parry. Um, so it defends with the knight. And now we bring our other piece, which is uh, the dark colored bishop. So bishop takes h6. Uh, black needs many pieces around it to defend, so it can't afford to uh, take back the bishop at this point. Um, so we have uh, rook g8 on the board. Um, at this position, uh, we want to uh, we want to uh, prepare a square for our dark square bishop so we could continue with the check and that's what is happening with h4. So we are ready to now uh, make this king. Um, we are pretty close. Uh, Jules now decides uh, he has to take. There is no option. But then this move falls into uh, queen takes uh, f7 checkmate. Hope you enjoyed this game. There is a lot to learn uh, from this game. Um, the couple of points that I take away from this game is uh, the ease with which you can create a bishop and queen battery and uh, the dark colored bishop without even moving from its place um, is enjoying the best square it can have uh, to attack a castle the king. So if your opponent castles on the king's side uh, and moves some of his pieces to the queen side, then uh, you have a deadly attack uh, coming up uh, from the Kone system after the e4 move, which clears the line for the bishop. That's all there is for today. Hope you enjoyed the game. Look forward to come to you with more such game. Please subscribe um, to, uh, to, to, to be informed of the future games. Uh, thank you and bye-bye. Thank you.